This is the EMC AB6, a very strange looking diesel locomotive from 1940, but to understand why these things were built, we need some historical context. In November 1939, the Chicago, Rock Island and Pacific Railroad, better known simply as the Rock Island, launched the Rocky Mountain Rocket. This was a passenger train that ran from Chicago, Illinois to Denver, Colorado, taking an average of 19 hours to complete the 1,083 mile journey. The train would split in Lyman, Colorado, with one portion going to Colorado Springs instead of Denver. Initially, the Rocky Mountain Rocket was hauled by E3A and later E6A locomotives, and this is where the AB6 enters the story. The Rock Island wanted a locomotive that could haul the Colorado Springs portion while acting as an integrated part of the train between Chicago and Lyman. One option was simply using a normal locomotive like the EMD E6A, but this would have ruined the streamlined appearance of the rocket's consist. As an alternative, General Motors Electromotive Corporation built two flat front locomotives based on the cabless E6B. The result was the bizarre EMC AB6, essentially a cabless booster or B unit modified to have a driver's cab, headlight, horn and other alterations to make it an A unit. Only two AB6s were built, and they were numbered as 750 and 751 by the Rock Island. 750 and 751 entered service in June 1940, and were soon put to work on their intended assignment. In this photograph you can see what the AB6s would have looked like on the Chicago to Lyman leg of the trip, with an E8A leading the charge. And this scene shows one of the AB6s on the Colorado Springs portion. Since these engines were intended to haul no more than 3 or 4 coaches, they were originally equipped with just one 1000 horsepower EMD 567 series prime mover, instead of the usual two. The space where engine number 2 would have been was taken up by a luggage compartment. Kind of like what Amtrak would go on to do when they converted surplus F40PHs into non-powered control units. As time went on, and trains got heavier, the AB6s were fitted with the second prime mover. This brought their power output up to 2000 horsepower. In September 1964, 750 was involved in a nasty derailment in Montgomery, Illinois, but she was soon back in service despite the severity of the wreck. In the description I've left a link to a blog post that explains this incident in great detail, much more than what I could present here. As for the Rocky Mountain Rocket, the train for which the AB6s were originally built, this service was very sadly discontinued in October 1966, but this was not the end for 750 and 751. The year prior, they were reassigned to push-pull commuter service in Chicago, following the installation of head-end power to replace their old steam heat boilers. In this photograph from October 1966, we can see 751 in Joliet, Illinois with a pair of gallery cars. These days, Joliet is still part of Chicago's commuter rail system, and is served by Metro trains on their Heritage Corridor and Rock Island lines. As for liveries, the AB6s were originally painted in the Rock Island's classic two-tone red with stainless steel, which they retained for over a decade. In the early 1960s, the pair was given a new livery of solid red, but by 1969 their front ends had been repainted yellow. I'm guessing this was to make it easier for people to see the locomotives, but I don't know for certain if this was the case or not. Despite being a unique, custom-built class of just two locomotives, the AB6s had reasonably long service lives. In 750's case, she remained in service until 1973,
with her sister having been retired in early 1972. Sadly, the two engines were sold for scrap in January 1974, and cut up soon after. While it's a great shame that neither 750 nor 751 were preserved, the good thing is that there are models, plenty of photographs and other historical records still around to remind us of the unique diesel locomotive that was the EMC AB6. Thank you very much for watching. This video was inspired by the works of PensyFan19 and Amtrak Guy365, specifically their remarkable engines and Engines of Amtrak series respectively. I'll leave links to both channels in the description, as well as credits for the photographs used in this video. Take care everyone, and I'll see you next time.